Hello VR gamers, this is Tatiana. For many of us, Beat Saber became a salvation from sitting on a bum all day. And we can actually do something resembling a workout while playing a really fun game. If you're a fan, then you probably played all the songs from the three volumes like a million times already. Wouldn't it be fun to play Beat Saber to songs you actually like? Like a Dragonborn song from Skyrim. I mean, who wouldn't want to play to that? After posting that video, I received many questions asking how to install custom songs on Beat Saber, and I decided to make a quick video explaining how to do it. It's really easy, and in three minutes you'll be able to browse a large collection of custom-made Beat Saber maps of all kinds of songs. Quick note, you will need a side quest to do it, so if you don't have side quest on your computer, go to my very simple 3-minute video tutorial and then come back here. You can find the link to the tutorial in the description. Before we begin, please support this channel by hitting that like button and subscribing. So are you ready? Let's begin! Alright, so here's what you need to do. Open your browser and type in this address. I will leave it in the description. Here you will download BMBF, which will help you install modded Beat Saber. Guys from BMBF did a great job. So, download it on your computer. And next, put on your Oculus Quest and play unmodded version of your Beat Saber. As you can see, I only have these three volumes and some extras. I don't even know where they came from, but right now I don't have any mods on my Beat Saber. Play a super quick game, you can even lose it to save some time. Then connect your Oculus Quest to your computer and go back to your BMBF file you just downloaded and you will need to upload it on your VR set using SideQuest. First, make sure it's connected. And then simply drag and drop your BMBF file to the top left corner of your SideQuest window. It should install it on your VR set. Again, put your quest on, go to the unknown sources in your library and run BMBF. I couldn't record this part of the tutorial because the developers restricted the video recording for this software, but I will use some screenshots instead. Basically, you will focus very simple directions like on these screenshots. One of the steps will actually ask you to uninstall your existing Beat Saber and install the new patched version of this game, which is totally safe. It's been checked by me and by thousands of people who are playing this modded version of the game. Installing the patched version may take a little bit of time, just be patient. After the patched Beat Saber is installed, make sure to click Done. Done, not Open. And after that, you will see that there is a new window open in your browser and it says Beast Saber. This is where you're going to be downloading your songs from. It still won't let me record, so I'm just showing you the same website from my desktop browser. Now this is where the magic happens. You can browse through thousands of songs to install on your Beat Saber. You can even filter songs by genres and by their difficulty levels, which is very helpful. When you find the songs that you like, click on Download the zip file from Beat Saber, this button. At this point, the song will be downloaded to your headset. You can download as many songs as you like, but make sure to hit this red button in the top right corner that says Sync to Beat Saber to make sure that these songs are in the game. After it syncs, it'll turn blue and say Start Beat Saber. If you are done uploading your songs, click on it and start playing. The first time you run Beat Saber after patching it, it'll ask you for permissions to access files. Click Allow. It will not ask you for this again. As you can see, I uploaded a few songs here that you can find in the custom songs playlist. They're ready to play. And that's it! All the custom songs are available for you to play. Congratulations! I have just shown you how you can download the songs directly from your headset. But it is also helpful to know how to download them from your computer, tablet or even your smartphone. To do that, first go to the same website that BMBF redirects you when you're wearing your headset. It's called B Saber. Here's the link. When it loads, you will see the same website that you saw in your headset browser. But now, if you want to download a song, when you click on it, you will save the file on your computer. It will have a weird name and I strongly recommend organizing your songs, especially if you're planning on downloading a lot of them. To transfer the songs to your quest, do the following. Paste your VR set's IP address in the search field. To easily find your headset's IP address, go to SideQuest and you will find it in the top left corner. Type this IP address in the search bar and then type column and numbers 50000. I also recommend bookmarking this address. You should see this window where you can drag and drop your music to upload it on your Oculus Quest. If this step is not working for you, make sure that BMBF is running on your Oculus Quest and then try again. After this, everything is easy. Simply drag and drop your songs to this window to install them. 
You can even organize your songs by creating new playlists and adding new cover images. Just like in your headset, don't forget to click on this red button that says Sync to Beat Saber to save your changes. Always check if you need to click that button before closing the window. Now when you start Beat Saber, you will see all the playlists with the new songs that you have added. And you can do this straight from your smartphone too! And that's it! Now you have access to a large collection of custom-made songs that you can play in Beat Saber. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button if you found this video helpful and of course, subscribe to this channel. See you next time!